this? <laughs> uh, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to ADHD Whiskey. What's up? What's happening? Good evening, uh, everybody who's coming over from Klein's stream. That was a lot of fun. That was a heck of a good time. That was interesting. All the superstars over there. Bring in Klein and Alec and then... Dan the Schman showed up, and then Sean Schmopperman. Happy friggin' birthday, Mr. Opperman. Thought it would be the prime Opperman community to say that. Man, oh man, just a good time. No, Sean? <laughs> beautiful. Friggin' beautiful. Um, yeah, well, welcome, welcome in. We're gonna have some fun tonight. That's not gonna, I, I feel like I should have just got slam slammed. And then it could have turned from their stream to my stream. It, it's like it, seamlessly, but sober as a gopher on a roller coaster. And we're just going to rock and roll and we'll get there. It'll be a fun time. Everybody, everybody, friggin' everybody. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Man, um, ah, there's some people pre gaming, people over at the DC channel. DC channel? What the hell? DC, you need a channel. I just called it the DC channel. I must have read your name right when I said, uh, I was going to say the Michael Klein channel. Destination Bourbon. Wow. My brain's firing on all 3.1 cylinders tonight. Yikes. Um, this is fun. I am happy to be here. You know, just going to rock and roll it. 82 people watching me sweat because for some reason I just started sweating. And it's not that hot in here, but it feels like it's really hot in here. Maybe I have a fever, or maybe I'm just nervous to perform for 84 beautiful, beautiful people. And by perform, I mean drink whiskey in front of a camera. <laughs> it's just pretty hard stuff. Oh, man, what's going on? DC's up in the house. What's up, brother? Whiskey Red Bourbon Guy says, that handy looks legit back there. Hells yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, Barrelproof Barbell says, what's up? Nothing, just chilling. <laughs> But not chilling, sweating, actually. But I'm trying to chill. My body's trying to chill, for sure. Hit the thumbs up. Hell yeah, Dram Hound. Wait a... Man, I'm, I'm pretty pumped from the whole the whole Michael Klein Destination Bourbon stream. And now it's like, now I've got to not suck. <sighs> the stress. My feet are sweating so hard. They're nervous. I don't know why. Z-Man. Cheers, brother. Old Forster single barrel store pick. Klein rocked it, Mr. Wrench. He sure did. He did good. Alec, Bradley. Okay. Um, oh shit. AB Cigars Alex says commercial with an exclamation point. That is that that is somebody demanding that I do a commercial, which is technically unwritten rule, but also um, verbal contract, that's, you just signed up for a commercial for the finest cigars on the planet. Sometimes, once in a while, I would say every four to seven years, I feel like smoking a real shitty cigar. And what I do is I go out to the store and I say, what do you have that's not Alec Bradley? And then when they start to show me, I'll say, any of these will work because these are all terrible. Bring me to your good stuff. And then when they bring me over to their humidifier, door area and they say in here we have i'm like just show me the alec bradley stuff and they say well i hope you have a lot of money i say i have the most money for the finest cigars on the planet and these cigars are just how do i put it they make me who i am and they make beautiful people even more beautiful like this and if you don't believe that, then suck on that. And then suck on that, and then don't inhale. So there, that's all. <clears throat> Jeez, Tommy D, what the hell is that? Take the kids to get some ice cream. Holy smokes. <sighs> See, I'm not warmed up yet. I wasn't lubed up yet enough for a, a friggin' Alec Bradley commercial right out of the gate. I'm sweating, but not lubed up. Thank you for that super chat. Holy shnikes. Wow. Grant Hartwig, thank you for your super chat. Smash the like button and super chat. Grant Hartwig, now I'm pumped up. Now I just need a little Alec Bradley commercial. I just needed $105, and now I'm ready to go. Jeez. Louise, oh boy. We keep the Alec Bradley in the back. 
yeah, under the gold gold foiled floor and with laser beams so nobody else gets in there except for the most eloquent of people. And I fit that bill. Jeez, that super chat got me sweating even harder. Your wrench is the last I need in my glove. Like Thanos. I'll make you earn it. I'll make you bench press 750. And then you get the wrench. <laughs> it's just a joke. Um, we'll get you hooked up. Uh, geez, Louise. Steam Face says, bring me to Alec Rat. Oh, that's a good one. Bring me to Alec. Bring me to AB. Bring me to AB. And now they wouldn't. They wouldn't know what I'm talking about. Because they pretend like they didn't. But they wouldn't know. Jeez Louise. What's the record in chat? Uh, I don't know. Like 150, I think, maybe. One time when I had Klein on because he was really popular. Friggin' laser beams. This is what we're doing tonight. Other than sweating and being amazed by the generosity of you folks, that's going to be some really good ice cream, by the way. $5 super chat from Gary Franchi. Get some sprinkles for the kids, too. I, they wouldn't have it any other way. Got to hydrate. All right, now we're going to do it. Um, wow, that's good Fiji water. It's not even Fiji. It's just filtered. Just filtered out of the fridge. No big deal. Fat guy seating. Don't tease. <laughs> oh. Caitlin Brubaker's in the house. Michelle Lynn. Tommy D. Tommy D, I can't believe your ass. I am sweating so hard. It's, we're just going to talk about that. Is this even a realistic thing? Did it gain a 1,000 degrees in here? Is the apartment below me on fire? That could be a possibility. Julielle says, thanks to DC, Dan's going to be getting some AB cigars. What a lucky guy. Those cigars are probably the best smoking, easily, easily, the smoothest sailing, sipping, sucking sons of bitches on the planet. Or your money back, guaranteed. And that's a guarantee. <clears throat> All right, now. Want to be a baller? That's not going to happen. That was brutal. But, um, oh, lots of things. To, to, I want to say thank you to everybody who's in chat. Thank you to my Patreon community. You're all badass. Thanks to people for being awesome and just being super generous and being here to watch this crap. Because tonight, we have the third and final flight from Mike Cook. We also have a finished whiskey flight from Thrasher. BTW. BTW. Happy birthday, Thrasher. Happy 50, brother. If you're in here, if you're not in here, you're probably celebrating. But you're halfway to 100, man. That means a lot, and that's pretty cool. Happy birthday. And also, happy birthday to Whiskey Central. I think tomorrow or sometime around now. Three birthdays in the house in one day. Amazing. Wonderful. Friggin' awesome. I'm on top chat like an idiot. It takes me about a half hour to get really... Every time I start this, I'm like, tonight... It's going to be a little bit calmer, a little bit more chill. You're not going to stress about stuff. Everything's going to be totally fine. Then I start it, and I lose about four gallons of sweat in six seconds. And I'm like, oh, this is how it's going to go, huh? Every time. C2 Fat Guy is sweating rocks. I'm right there with you. Oh, good, dude. I'm so happy that we're both sweating. You're probably sweating because you just super chatted $100 and meant to super chat 10 <clears throat> It's probably the case. Is that the case? Uh, okay, so this is a. Uh, this is a four whiskey flight from Mike Cook. It's the yellows, the yellow. Take some of the yellow, and don't get stingy on me. Name that movie. Name that movie. It's a good one. It's a freaking good one. Let's tag Junior on the shelf. Got one last week at Batch Fourteen. My first one, tasty. I opened up a package. Um, She's Tuesday, I think it was, Tuesday night. Um, a very generous man, goes by the name of Jack, a patron of mine, said, give me your shipping information or give me your house address, area, place, and I'm going to send somebody with something for you. And he did. And that person showed up with a box. And I opened up the box, and I was like, good gravy! Mm. In that box from Jack was a bottle of Stag Junior Batch 14. Uh, friggin' thank you, Jack. If you ever watch this, if you do watch this, hopefully you watch this. Thank you so much. And 
I can't reach it because it's so far away. And he sent me this, which is incredible. Um, don't even, I don't even, uh, a 2011, a 2011 Thomas H. Handy. I've never even held a bottle of BTAC before. It's my first one. So what the hell? Actual hell. Thank you, Jack. You crazy son of a bee. Um, I don't know when I'm going to open this. I don't know. It's going to be a celebratory thing eventually here. Don't break it, right? Well, it won't go to 1K. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's for show. Uh, also, big thank you to the Bourbon Junkies. They um, featured me in their video yesterday, and I sang a little jingle, and then they kind of just pumped up my channel a little bit. And the Bourbon Junkie effect is friggin' real. Vegas Vacation, you guys got it. You guys freaking got it so hard. Gary Grant Hartwig pledged $20. New patron, Grant Hartwig. You generous son of a gopher. Everything's a gopher tonight, apparently. Thank you. But anyway, this is what I was going to say before we get into this flight. Um, the bourbon junkie effect is this. Yesterday at 11.30 a.m., I had 2,450 subscribers. Tonight at 10.13 p.m., I have 2,832. That is... 382 subscribers? 382 subscribers in a day. Holy shit. Uh, it's incredible. My goal is to hit 3,000 before my one-year anniversary, and it looks like it's going to happen for sure now, unless I really make everybody mad and everybody leaves. You should rap happy birthday to Shayla? I can't. I seriously could if I get hammered, but not right now. Maybe later. That's a possibility. So thank you, Dan and Sean, for doing that for me. That's a huge friggin' help. Holy crap. Um, yeah, geez Louise. We're going to get into this flight now, and tonight we're doing this flight a little bit different. Starting with, I must look terrible. I'm sweating so bad. That's all I can think about. Maybe it's making it worse. Probably is. 107 people in chat. Thank you, everybody, for coming in and watching this. We are a mere few weeks away, and by a few, I mean probably like four or so, to the regional semifinals, the Mid-Atlantic Championship Bardstown Bourbon Company World's Top Whiskey Taster Competition that I'm going to win. And if I don't win, then dang it. But I'm going to win it. So time to get serious. Time to really buckle down. Time to produce the best production I can produce. And that's precisely what I'm going to do tonight. Um, lately, I've been getting in my head a little bit, overthinking some stuff, and that's not going to happen tonight. Tonight, what I'm going to do is I'm going to sip these things, and I'm going to think about what I'm sipping as far as what I'm tasting and enjoying, if I enjoy it, what my overall experience is. And then go from there, rather than me sipping it and thinking what it could possibly be. Because that's what I've been doing lately, and that's where I'm falling short, falling apart, getting in my own head, trying to guess what stuff is without really thinking about what I'm tasting. So tonight, you are going to get the most productive, in-depth, eloquent, essentially essential element, probably, on the planet, Matt Porter. Let's do it. Let's freaking do it. We have four... Four glasses here, starting with A. I don't know if these are bourbons or ryes or what, but I would imagine that they're one of the two. We're about to find out. Everybody, glasses up. Give them a good swirl. Give them a good swirl. Give everybody high fives, knucks, and slaps on the asses because we got some whiskey spinning in our glasses. Let's do it. Let's get it going. Ah, nose it up. Cheers, everybody. This is a nutty, a nutty gal. Hmm. Sweet, sweet, nutty McNutterton. Like a nutter, I kind of flipped some, like a nutter butter candy, like a wafer bar. Why is my chat not scrolling? Gosh dang it. Sorry, everybody, for 
Mike Cook says, let's do this. Matt, Matt, Matt. My gosh, when people chant my name, I feel like I am a superhero. Oh, man. I wish my name was cooler. I actually met a guy one time. I used to work at a, a fitness facility. I did. It's a huge funny joke. Ha, ha, ha. But I did. And this kid used to come into the gym, and his name was, I don't care. I'll give his whole full name. I'm sure he doesn't watch this. Of course not. But his name was Jackson Muscleman. And I was like, that, sir, is the best name to ever have, ever. My name is Matt Porter. Not quite Jackson Muscleman. So I have to just pump myself up. Oh, almost broke something. I got a $10 super chat from Todd Trent for your rap skills. Keep rapping, bro. Wow, yeah, I think that's pretty cringy stuff, but okay. You look good. Do good in the finals. Cheers, brother. Cheers to you, Z man. Dan L says, you could just tell a whiskey what it is with enough confidence and it would become that whiskey. Let's do that tonight. Let's try it. This is a nutter butter delight. A little bit of fake chocolate on it. Huh. It's it's mild, mildly sweet, not super sweet. Huh. Maybe if you sprinkled some salt on that nutter butter. That's a proofy. Wow. Good grief. What is that? Um, that's really, really good. Um, whoa. I don't know what's going on there. That was, so I had a little warm-up whiskey today, just a tiny little bit of E.H. Taylor, small batch, so 100 proof. That thing, I just sipped. Crotch rocket train outside. I just go so fast. But they're gone now. Um, that was like five times hotter than the 100 proof, for sure. 113 people in chat. Get better, Porter. Get better at this. Making people cringe every time I talk. My current last name is pretty good, in my opinion, but I'm biased. Caitlin Brubaker, your name is pretty phenomenal. And yes, agree. You missed a super chat. Jacob Enrique and Glacius on to victory at the Bardstown deal. Thanks, dude. Appreciate that so much. So, so much. Um, and <laughs> Jerry Black says, love the Porter 316 shirt. Yeesh, I can't believe I told that story because that's going to become a thing, I think. It's not going to be funny. That's going to be funny. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Shayla, for telling me I missed the super chat. I appreciate that. ADHD is the reason he misses Super Chats. The reason I miss everything. I am a disaster. And I'm... It's bad. It's bad, bad news bears. Anyway, this first glass is a super high proof. I'm going back to the nose. Now I'm starting to pick up some cherries. Some cherries. Oh, the nose is starting to liven up. Like... Like after the, you know, the first three bands are done at a concert, things start to loosen up. Yeah, that's what the nose is doing. Uh, some don't nobody wake up the puppies. The puppies gotta sleep. Gasoline? No. The cannon says I missed your super chat. The cannon super chat. Son of a bee sting. Going up. Going up on a Tuesday. There it is. $5 super chat from the Canon. I'm sorry, man. I am ridiculous. You need to have a live stream where you do a blind with Whiskey Central and then have a rap battle. Uh, that, that live stream is happening very soon. Um, I'm not sure if 
we'll have to ask her. Actually, let's ask her right now. Whiskey Central, have your samples from Destination Bourbon arrived yet? If so, we should plan on next Friday doing our whiskey war or our trademark copyright protected super awesome term bourbon skirmish friggin bourbon skirmish sorry mr cannon but yes that's happening soon dc says you need to have a live stream where you do a blind with whiskey central and then have a rap battle oh it's literally i was very confused for a second i'm like DC and the canon are on the same page. They are literally intertwined. Then I realized he just copy and pasted what he said. So, yes. DC's typing skills are drunk. Not a bad thing. On A now, I'm getting a little bit more cherry and a little bit more sweet oak. The peanuts are subsiding. Huh, I have to sip it again. Wow. That is glorious. That reminds me of, okay, sweet oak, a little bit of dark fruits in there, like a little bit of um, like a date, a date dipped in vanilla Greek yogurt or unflavored Greek yogurt with vanilla extract in it just a snack i used to have once in a while and it just reminds me of that it's really good um wow mixed with like 700 pounds of alcohol if i had i'm not i wasn't trying to figure out what it was i'm just trying to this reminds me of uh an elijah craig barrel proof that's what i'm that's what i'm thinking in the direction i'm going there that's phenomenal um let's hope the rest of these are high proof too Otherwise, I'm going to have some problems because that was like a 136 proof scorcher on my tongue. <clears throat> Whiskey Central says, my samples from Klein have not arrived yet. Well, let me know when they do so we can so we can plan this, so we can plan the old streameroo. Uh, let's go on to the second glass here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sift through these, give notes, try to figure out at the end here, like how close I can get to like a distillery or uh, what I think that they are, even though I'm really not trying to figure it out during my first sip. I just want to enjoy these, kind of place them in what order I think they, they deserve, and then we'll go from there. $10 Super Chat from Taste and Sensibility, tasteful name, also a sensible name, for sure. My samples from Klein have not arrived yet either. Dang it. Were you expecting samples from Klein? Klein, get, get your stuff together. I'm the worst. I'm so behind on stuff, but also caught up with stuff at the same time, but late. DC says, high test bourbon, go straight to... That's true. That, I mean, sometimes that's where they end up, but um, wow. I think this nose reminds me a lot of the first nose. Very high proof. Little nutty, little cherry, little dark berry. Like um like a this one's more pruney. Like um like a pitted prune you get in the bag and you crack you crack the seal on the bag because your three-year-old's constipated. And this is probably the best solution for that. Um so you crack the bag and you're like <sighs> Because you can't help it. You just got to smell everything you open. You smell it. Yeah. If you dumped 700 pounds of alcohol on them. Fantastic. These are very... These are, ah, this is going to be a good flight. I can already tell. This is going to be fun. I got to shift my weight so my butt cheek doesn't fall asleep. Now we're rocking and rolling. Now we're comfortable. Now we're feeling good. Starting to get into the flow. Lost a few, lost, lost a few watchers. Totally get it. Totally understand. My subscription count probably falling from the people wondering what the hell they just subscribed to. Totally understand that. Also, a little setback never hurt anybody. 
Huh. So what's everybody else sipping on out there? Uh, anybody sipping on Elijah Craig Barrel Proof? Because uh, that's kind of what I'm thinking I was in glass A. What's, anyone sipping on some high proof stuff out there? Or are we taking it easy? Yes. Everybody hit the thumbs up. If you have to exit live chat, hit the thumbs up. Friggin' do it. Hit the thumbs up. Make make my day. Make my night. All right. I'm going to go into glass B on the, on the palette now. The palette. We're, people are dropping like flies. Don't watch the number, Matt. It's only a number. It doesn't reflect on how much people enjoy what they're watching directly. kind of does. Hmm. B seems to be also super high proof. Also in the 120 plus range. 125? Maybe? 125? 126? 127? 126? 124? Nutty? Sweet nuts. Sweet, creamy nut butter. Almost like a peanut brittle, if, like at the at the end, but it's like a creamy peanut butter turned into a peanut brittle. M reminds me of like a Booker's, possibly, but every time I say Booker's, I'm usually wrong. So there's also that. Dave Markowski's getting the chat going. Freaking love it. People drinking the Russian River, E. H. Taylor single barrel. <laughs> Uh, Graham Hound sipping on, uh, uh, geez, uh, rye, the back snap, bone snapper rye. <laughs> DC says, sounds yummy. That's so funny. Kevin X says, OGD 114. That is such an underrated bourbon. OGD 114 is so pleasing. Oh my God, is that what this is? No, it's too high proof. Go, Matt, go. Go, Matt, go. Yeah. It's just a good song. Hmm. Now, B is nutty. Man. If B is not a Booker's, then my middle name isn't Schnooker's. It's good though. That's good. It's freaking good. All right. C. It's going to C. You squealed again. Uh, I actually um. Oh, Michael T says he got old tub today. Do that? Eh, no. Maybe maybe it'll get better after it sits for a few years on your shelf, going undrunk, undranking. I'd say that I'd say that the old tub isn't a terrible buy at twenty five dollars. It's so it's a lesson learned. It's um, when a distillery slaps limited edition on something that is basically the exact same thing they just took off the shelf that said limited edition. What I'm talking about is distiller's cut that they removed from the shelf and then put Old Tub on the shelf. The bottle and bond label on I don't know. I'm just a silly goose, but that was a little red flag to me. I'm like, something's up here. Tommy D says, Matthew! Sounds like my mama. <laughs> Need to put the squeak as an <laughs> alert when I get the text. <laughs> Did you hear that? Got <laughs> <Good> text. <laughs> That's terrible. Terrible, Matt. Terrible. Matt Schnooker's Porter. Yeah. Sounded better in my head. Need a theme song with a rap break. I could use a theme song. I could use, I don't know. I need a little jingle that's like my, my thing. I don't know. I don't know. I swirled that for a heavy minute. <laughs> Hungry grab a schnookers, says James. That's so funny. <laughs> Don't make a terrible rap for me. Really, really stick it. Really make yourself do a good job. When I did the when I did the thing for the bourbon junkies, I literally sat literally uh, literally sat in front of my camera for a good twenty minutes, producing the worst. Worst stuff on earth. And then I just kind of gave up and I did the one that you saw. So that was me giving up. And that was the best one. 
Kevin Eek says he misses being able to get Heaven Hill bonded for 20 bucks. Yeah, I've never had the the white label bottled and bond. Um, how does that compare to Evan Williams bottled and bond? The worst whiskey on the planet. What are you expecting, world's top whiskey taster? Oh, what am I expecting at the competition? Well, the competition is now virtual, so it's online. Um, what am I expecting there? I, I, I'm expecting oh, so much winning, so much victory, so much nosing notes and tasting notes that just come from the, the aura that is me. I'm expecting a lot of people chanting Matt, 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 Matt. I'm expecting everybody who's in, in the competition against me just feeling, feeling that. And then they start chanting Matt, 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 Matt. And I'm sitting there going, oh, chlorine swimming pool with a little little bit of a high pH. And people are like, Matt, Matt, Matt. And I'm like, oh, mm. oh, this is a mahogany doghouse with a Labrador retriever with a tennis ball and four rawhides. Matt, Matt. Matt, and then the competition just stops. They award me a gigantic pennant, pennant, a three and a half foot tall trophy, twenty thousand dollars in Mercedes Benz, a new job, and sixteen new wives. That'll make seventeen wives and a brand new job. What am I gonna do with a new job? I don't know. Try to support seventeen wives. That's all I gotta say about that. Glass C is C. I'm perfectly happy with my one wife. Just try to find something. Try to think of something ridiculous to top it off. Am I right? Jeez. That Mercedes Benz is going to be nice, though. Huh. This nose is reminding me of a buffalo. Like I'm. Oh man, I'm doing it again. I'm getting cherries, sweet oak, sweet cherries. This nose reminds me of a Buffalo Trace product. Great Odin's Raven. Oh. A Sally's Sisters sandwich. That's fantastic. And super high proof. That's 130 easy. Oh, wow. All 17 wives work and make your money. You'll never work again. <laughs> Julielle says, then 16 funerals when Carissa gets finished. Yeah, those will be sad. All 16 of them will be like, we just met. But I feel like it's a shame they have to bury you. <laughs> uh, click, click, boom. Just as soon as we hit the room, we can hear him holla, Matt Porter and this bitch. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Detroit City. This is a good song. This? Oh, but honestly, what I'm expecting there is, truthfully, from the competition, um, I'm expecting to get, to get some samples and I'm going to pour in a glass. I'm going to be giving tasting notes, distillery stuff, uh, like mash bill, guessing mash bill, guessing distillery, pretty much dominating, pretty much throwing up gang signs the entire time, which are all Barstown Bourbon Company gang signs. Like I'll just figure out how to make bees with my fingers. And I think everybody will appreciate that quite a bit. I'll probably let out audible sighs throughout when people make tasty notes that I'm unhappy with. I'm going to get, I'm going to get thimbleberries and somebody else. We'll say dark chocolate, and I'm just going to go, <sighs> and then after I make the visible or the audible sigh, I'll make a visible eye roll. So everybody else who's watching knows I don't agree with that, and they'll know that their tasting note was wrong, and mine obviously was correct. <sighs> That's what I expect. I think this might be like a Stag Junior. This is very, maybe like an E.H. Taylor barrel proof. Never had that before. Um, I feel like I'm getting way too specific for when I said I wasn't going to get specific during my first tasting. 
But also at the same time, I feel like I'm in the zone. I'm in the mother effing zone. Pardon my language. But sometimes when you're in the zone, you just got to let everybody know that you're in the zone. And everybody just high fives and gives knocks and says, we want to be in the zone. And I'm like, let's do it together. Hell yeah. This is good, though. Um, glass C, glass B, and glass A are all <laughs> super high proof and also very good. Um, if I had to guess, even though I said I wasn't gonna, 113 people watching, idiots. <laughs> Just kidding. I love all of you. Um, I think A is an Elijah Craig barrel proof, B is a Booker's, and C is a Stag Jr., could be totally wrong, but also could be completely right. Class D. Class D is maybe lower proof. Maybe lower proof. It needs, oh, it needs a good swirl. It needs a great swirl. Oh yes, Uncle Buckslayer. Sorry for being late. It took it's pretty bitch to dinner. Or actually, she paid. That's good. So it's Uncle Buck, bitch. Ah. Uh, Welcome, Uncle Buck. So happy you could join us. So happy you're here. <sighs> swirl a glass. Pick up pick up a glass and swirl it. Something barrel-proof, because that's the theme tonight, apparently. Some barrel-proof swirling. Just going. This is probably about 73 miles an hour. If you want to pick it up to 78, all you got to do is really rotate the wrist just a fraction. Just a fraction bit faster. Look at her go. Oh, man. That... Smells younger. And by younger, I might mean like, huh, interesting. It smells younger, grassier. Grassy, younger. Maybe maybe slightly lower proof on the nose. Um, maybe like some strawberry action. Like, uh, not like you cut into the strawberry. Because then like, it's very effervescent, but let's say that you had strawberries in the plastic container that have the holes poked in it so they can breathe. You put your nose up to that and you're like, and then that's, so it's not that strong of a strawberry smell. Basically what I'm trying to say, basically. Uncle Buck says, sounds great. Let's bring the heat. So we need to send ADHD a lot more cheap bottles. Yeah, that's, Totally fine. I love everything. Except for Evan Williams Bottles and Bond. And I'll stand by that. Whiskey Central says, I gotta go, sadly, guys. My mom wants to hang out and doesn't understand how awesome Matt is. Yeah, that's it's mom's for you. Love you all. Have a good night good weekend. Everybody wish Whiskey Central a happy birthday. And when you watch the replay, if you ever do, maybe I'll wrap happy birthday to you later. It's not going to happen. I just want an extra view on the video. Good night, Shayla. This is now starting to be a little bit... Let's just fan... Like, hmm. Starting to smell a little bit fancier now. And by fancy, like... A little more champagne like Loud car outside. No exhaust system. No catalytic converter. Won't pass emissions, guaranteed. Oh, poor guy. A meatloaf. Andrew Buchanan says, I'll send you a case of Evan Williams bottle of Mon. Okay. I will return to Blender. <laughs> Get it? Because it's terrible. <laughs> just joking. Just joking. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. I just like to make a big deal about stuff. I kind of over... Do it a lot. Oh, wow. That was... That took an interesting turn. Okay. Okay. That was different than... Maybe this is a weeded bourbon. Could this be a weeded man? I went a different route. Uh, I took the scenic route. Wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting maybe a little bit more youngness, but this was like 
uh, like stone fruit on the tongue. Took a page out of that book. Just did it. <laughs> the jury is out on Evan Williams' Bottle and Bond. People either love it or hate it. Huh. I don't know what is in D. D is the one I don't have a guess on. Um, and also, I don't know which one of these I like the most. When you do a flight of really, really high-proof stuff, sometimes things don't, like, they stand out differently, but they're also good that makes it difficult to pick a winner sometimes, for me, anyway. Wow, now going back to A. Huh. Like the nose on A is now like a cinnamon toast. Uh, so where I'm from, originally from the upper peninsula of Michigan, there's this stuff called Trinary Toast. The town that is that's produced and is called is named Trinary, and it's like a really hard, hard like burnt toast almost, like a pre-burnt toast. Oh my god, I gotta send Dan some of this because Mr. Shook. It's like it's hard as a rock, but it's not burnt. It's just really hard. So it's basically pre-burnt toast. But they put some cinnamon and sugar on it. It's called Trinary Toast. And Finlanders dunk it in coffee. That's kind of what the, the original thought was. And this is now reminding me of Trinary Toast. It's like um, almost like a cardamom, I guess you would say. Huh. All right. That's good. That's real good. Oh, Lordy. Yeah. Uh, I didn't bring paper to write stuff down. Um, so I'm going to write my guesses on the envelope with the things in it. I'm going to say A is 33 proof. 130 proof. ECBP. All right, now I'm going to go. I like to mix things up a little bit. <laughs> DC says, that toast ain't got shit on Donna's banana bread. Did I, did I talk about Donna's banana bread one night that I don't really remember talking about? I must have, huh? Must have. I'm going back to the D. I'm going from A to D to mix it up a little bit, to change my order up. Change the porter's order up. Huh. I want to see which ones I like the most. Huh. Okay, so after I sipped A and went back to D, D fell a little bit flat, but it is also... It's also in the 120. That would be like a Knob Creek, maybe. Possibly. I'm going to say maybe a Knob. I don't know. I'll see if I can pick up any of the... Because uh, I'm getting some nuttiness on there. But not a lot of oak. I don't know. It's too high proof to be like a maker's task strength. What else is a really high proof son of a goose? Could that be a 1792 foolproof? If we get any bananas on it. Oh, did I, I, might, I might have mentioned it in the 1920 video. Yeah, that makes sense. When you start making um, videos like just recording videos and drinking, things start to get blended and mixed together and you don't know what you talked about where. And then all of a sudden, like, you edit a video and then I squealed. Like, I, when I edited the squeal today, or last night when I edited that, I literally laughed out loud. Like, I, I, I'm not ashamed to admit sometimes, sometimes I make myself laugh when it's something stupid, ridiculous. Like, 
I'm sitting there tired trying to edit your video, and then I squealed, and that made me laugh. So I figured if that made me laugh, then it had to make somebody else laugh. Because <laughs> uh, a gigantic man looking like a pig squealing is kind of funny. Hundred and nineteen inch hat. Man, that's as good as this flight. I wonder if that's a 1792 bottle or 1792 foolproof. Huh. Maybe. Quite possibly. I don't know. D is the one that's got me a little bit perplexified. Man. Okay, my sweating has done really well. It's it's cooled me off to the point where I'm no longer profusely sweating, in case you're wondering. Now I'm just uh, now I'm in the zone. I was in the zone before, but now I'm in the the temperature zone. Going back to C. Originally, I thought C could be um, like a Buffalo Trace. And I go back to C. It's gonna be funny when these are all the exact same thing. Like these could all these could all be like Elijah Craig's or all be Booker's, and it just looks stupid. I don't think that they're all Booker's though. There's not enough nuts on C here. But there might be. ADHD whiskey. Um, barrel proof barbell says Jack D and Neil single barrel barrel proof and Woodward batch would have the similar brown form and notes. Yeah, I was kind of looked for them. There's I've said it a million times, but there's like a, a really strange cannon thing on the back end of the Jack Daniels barrel proof that I get, and. I don't get that on any of these. So, I mean, it, it's not out of the range of possibility or out of the realm of possibility, you could say, if you want to speak proper English, which I don't. So out of the range of possibility. Uh, but, but, um, I don't get that. I don't get that note. Will Henderson, it's always the D. The D's got me confused. But the C. Mm. Now the C seems to be coming down. <clears throat> huh. You know what I think I need? You guys are not helping me at all. Why hasn't nobody said to take a water break yet? Jerks. You guys are all jerks. Telling me not just watching me just drink through these out of water. Water helps, I think. Oh, get the knife. An ADHD meet and greet? I'm down. That'd be fantastic. I would love it. Let's do it tomorrow. 5 a.m. Baseball field. Three blocks from here. See you there. <laughs> Dream Hats trademarked Big Champ Age. Bourbonskirmish.com. Actually, is it a. <laughs> Dream Hunt's, Dream Hunt's been drinking. I think that. <laughs> I, if that link works, that's a miracle, but I don't think that it does. Breaks are for the untrained. Um, sometimes you just need to regroup, regroup. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just subtly regrouping. Drown says, it does? How does that work? There's no way that works. I'm going to click on it. And if it brings me to my Patreon, that's insane. How is that possible? <laughs> did Dramhound, did you do that? Did you make that happen? Because there was uh, the video I said bourbonsquirmish.com backslash let's get wasted. And then for some reason, like it went to my Patreon page because of YouTube did something with it. But <laughs> uh, now. My actual bourbonskirmish.com goes to my Patreon page. 
which is incredible. You'll have to tell me more about that, Graham Hound, how that works. Jeez Louise. Labor Day weekend in Connecticut. Is this Labor Day? I don't know. I don't think it is, but we'll go with it. We'll be sipping play a pimp. I don't know yet. We're still, we're still um, getting through these, figuring it out, figuring it out. Whiskey Rye the Bourbon Guy, you do whatever the heck you want, and I will, because I'm sick of all you being my mom, even though she doesn't tell me what to do. She hasn't for a while. But if she did, I'd still listen. That's for sure. You are the best ever, so it doesn't matter. Dang it! That's a strong, strong statement before I fail everybody. Okay, so I don't think any of these are rise. I think these are all bourbons, for sure, Ben. Drowned is a legend. Hundred and twenty-four people in chat. That makes me want to jump off of a roof. A really high one. And then everybody screams. Ah! And guess what? Got a wingsuit on. Just glide to the ground gracefully. And I'm like. Guess what? I was just so jacked up that 124 people were in here watching that I felt like free diving off of a skyscraper with a wingsuit.com backslash. Hope it holds 375,000 pounds. .org. Can you do the baller rap with the hand signs? <laughs> no. I, I mean, I could I? I could, but I ain't gonna. Any vodkas in there? Because Klein, so this is there. Here's a problem. Klein sent samples to me and Shayla from Whiskey Central, and I think he has just read Sugar Glider, Flying Squirrel, uh, Sam Houston worth one fifty. If one hundred and fifty dollars is something you normally spend on bourbon, have no problem spending on bourbon, or is something you want to spend on bourbon and can afford? Yeah, it's really good. It's not a, it's not a, how do I put it? It's not a $150 bourbon. It's not a $150 bourbon. It's, it's a $150 bourbon that earns the price tag, you could say. Mm. Oh. I needed the water. We're back. Good morning. Oh, that's phenomenal. I think C is my favorite. I think C is my favorite. And then probably A. But that's not for sure the truth because I have to taste B yet. Yeah. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the right person to, to tell you if it's worth that much money because I didn't pay for it. DC paid for it. So DC is the one to ask if it's worth it. DC, was it worth that much money to watch me squeal? I think B is Booker's. Oh, yeah. If that's not Booker's, my middle name isn't Dwayne the Rock Johnson. It's good, but do I like it more than I liked D? Where's my water? My water. <laughs> DC says F yes. Sorry for cursing. <laughs> um, Barrel Proof Barrel says, I hope B is old tub. If B is Old Tub, then Old Tub is on hormone replacement therapy and human ho growth hormone. HGH is that. Yeah, some some sort of lots of testosterone for sure. And then like all, all the DECA balls and Z balls and G balls, all the steroids you can possibly get because that's not Old Tub. Unless Old Tub got serious in the gym. With his friend. 
Booker Coleman. Lightweight. Will Henderson says, you need, you, you need, need hype a soundtrack. Like some Eye of the Tiger, Big Papa, maybe some of the 8 Mile soundtrack. What else? Metallica, Disturbed. Um, how about that? Um, that numb slash encore Jay Z song. That's a good one. That's yeah, man, that's a good one. Listen to that. That's a good. I like that song. Also, um, till I collapse, that Eminem song. I feel like that's a probably a pretty good theme song for my life. Cause my wife is like, you get healthy, cause I'm afraid you're gonna collapse, and I'm gonna find you in the living room dead one day. And I'm like, well, till I collapse, I will promise you I'll get healthy. I need to do that. By the way, should probably start that soon. <laughs> that's old stuff. Got serious in the gym. That's right. Let's see. Do I like D better? Yeah, licensing won't happen. Beast by Rob Bailey. Rob Bailey does a little bit too much screaming for me, for me to for it to be my theme song. Um, just a little bit. Maybe if his little brother Bob Bailey sang it. Okay, going back to the D. I think D is the lowest proof of the bunch. That's really good. Um, okay. I got my guesses. I got my guesses. I also have an order. Porter's got an order. Uh, I was going to say one. Thirty-one, thirty. Let's see. One, twenty. This is this is just me making noises and writing stuff. Um. So here we go. <laughs> Your Facebook profile pic. You be skinny. I wasn't even skinny then. I, when I remember when I took that picture, I felt so fat because I was out of shape. But um, then I wanted to remind myself what fat was, so I gained like 130 pounds. Now we're here. So yeah, my profile pic definitely not as you know round as I am now, but still, I I keep that profile picture to remind me that I can look like that if I stop eating. So, should probably start that. All right, let's see. My favorite, my order from favorite to least favorite, even though these were all really, really good, and I had a hard time between C and D being my least favorite. Like, they're they're both really good. These are all phenomenal, very, very good. Barrel-proof, or at least super high-proof whiskeys. Um, uh, my favorite was B. My second favorite was A, and then C, and then D. So here we go. I got a thing on jigger here. Oh yeah, by the way, I think D, my least favorite, is a Knob Creek single barrel, 120 proof. Um, so like 75% corn, I think. These are all bourbons, like super high corn bourbons, uh, except for I think that A is an Elijah Craig barrel proof, which means it's a little bit higher rye. So there's that. Um, D, Knob Creek, C, Booker's, and I said for Booker's, 126 proof was C. And then Elijah Craig barrel proof, I think that's like 136 proof ECBP, I think. If I had to guess, I think that I'm just going to get really, really funny here because I want to see if I can nail them. I think A is C919. And I think B, Stag Jr., is a Stag Jr. And it's um, batch. Oh, I was going to say 130. 
I'm gonna say, um, no, shit. I said 130 proof, but I'll say it's 120 or whatever. I think it's batch 13 Static Junior. That's what I think. So let's go. Let's find out. Okay. And he does this. This is the best. If anybody sends anybody blind flights, this is the coolest way to do it. He's got the the, the flip tabs. The flip, 130 in chat? i got to get that now. Shouldn't have done that. But I'm super excited about it. 130. 129. Didn't like that, did they? Well, guess what? I'm super excited. Thank you, everybody. I forgot to even read. I haven't even been reading chat. I'm a moron. Should give up. Oh, there's not too many chats coming in. That's good. All right. I got to get my... using my toes to get it. I just got to get it out. We got it. All right. So in fourth place is D. And D is... Not looking. Son of a bitch! I should... Uh, I almost said it, and I didn't say it, but I almost said it. <sighs> D is 1792 foolproof. And I, I went on the last second, I said Napa Greek. And, but I was like, I think that's 1792 foolproof. I did say that, and there's video evidence of it. So, son of a bitch. <sighs> that's fine. That's fine. We're going to make it up on the back end, or the front end. Uh, third place was... C, and I thought C was a Booker's. And let's say, oh, let's make it more interesting. Let's say, um, I have I've no idea. It's a Booker's. I, I don't know Booker's like I know the rest of them. So it's a good one, though. Let's see. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Really? No way. There's no way. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, what? No, 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 no. I'm totally confused. Did I say... Did I say C came in... No, I said B came in third place. I am so... Wow. B came in third place because I thought B was Booker's. Jeez Louise. Okay. Ugh. Wow. I totally had a brain fart and got very confused. So, B was third place because I thought it was Booker's. And then there was... Right? Or no? Is that what I said? No, it's not what I said. It's not what I said. Nope, nope, nope. Did I not put these in the right order? Order? B was first. What, did I, what order did I put these in? B was first. A was second. C was third, right? B was first. A was second. C was third. I think you said B, B A C D, I believe. Yeah, that's okay. All right. Yep, that's you're right, Gary. All right, so that's. I guess I'm not wrong. Um, C, which came in third place, I thought it was Booker's. Did I really? What the? No, no, no. What? I've confused myself. Because, okay. Son of a bitch. This is the worst I ever... Because this is... Okay. This is what's happening. I wrote down on a list. A, B, C, D. Um... I have to remember, I think, see, I what I did, I wrote these down wrong. I did, because, right? 
I said, yeah, I, I completely screwed this up for sure. I know I said BA 140 in chat. Son of a bitch. That's crazy to watch me screw this up. I screwed it up. And I'm not saying I screwed it up because I already saw what C was. I say, I'm saying I screwed it up because of this. I don't know. I don't know where my brain was because I thought A was Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, right? And then I went to B, and I said B reminded me of Booker's. It was really sweet, right? And then I went to C, and I said C was a stag junior. I did say that. I don't know why I wrote them down backwards, but I did. I'm an idiot. <sighs> So I know for sure that my, my order sh my order should have been this. My order should have been C A B D. That's what my order should have been. Like that's what that's what I was thinking. I don't know what the hell happened. And I don't care. I give up. I quit. I'm not oh God, I'm so stupid. I should probably not do this anymore. That's fine. Whatever. Um, C, which I said I put this is, I sound like I'm just a total idiot. Um, I said I put C in third place, apparently, but I didn't. I put C in first place. Yeah. Well, I can't, I mean, like, my, yeah, it should be C A B D. That should be, okay, thanks. Jacob says, I said C, then you changed it up. I don't know why I changed it up because I knew that. C was what I thought was a stag junior. And then I thought A was an Elijah Craig barrel proof. I thought B was Booker's. And I thought that D was uh, Knob Creek slash I gave up on the 1792, which I shouldn't have. But so, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go with what I know. And I know that C was supposed to be first place. So, fuck it. Pardon my language. In third place was B, and that's the way it should have been. That's the way that's the way I should have said it. You switched B and C, right? And I sh I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. And I did say C was Stag Junior. Thank you. Dang it. <sighs> Thank you for helping me vindicate myself because I don't know why the hell I switched B and C at the last second. I got confused. <clears throat> all right. So anyway, um, all right. Uh, B was third place is Booker's Country Ham. So I nailed that for sure. 100%. I nailed. And then the other thing is, what confused me was, I put I put C, A, B, D. I put them in order. Like C, A, I put them in order from my favorite to least favorite. And then when I was like reading and then it just got completely confused. Anyway, I was I was right, B is Booker's. Um, and then in second place is A, and A is, oh shit. <laughs> All right, I don't even care. If you guys know it, but look at it. Can you read that? You can't read it, but it says C919. I called the right batch. I called the right friggin' batch. And then B was my first place, which is or, geez, I just did it again. Why did I keep... C was my first place, which is Stag Junior Batch 12. I think I said 13, but anyway. Um, can't switch now. Yeah, I know. Uh, but I did because I know in my head what I meant. That's not what I said, so super stupid. My entire goal of this flight was to get you to pick Booker's first to prove... Bourbon saying was wrong to do bookers so dirty. It worked with an asterisk, but I'll take it. Amazing job, honestly. Um, Mike Cook, thank you so much. He sent me three or four, however many fantastic flights he sent me, and this was awesome. Uh, the problem came, for some reason, I said that B came in first, even though I knew that B was not first. And I also said that B was Booker's, which I was debating between B and D for last place. But anyway, in my brain, I know that I'm I, I, I'm right. I feel good about it. Even if I don't look good, 
I know I don't look good, but I still feel like I did good. I feel like I did okay. I feel like I did. I feel like I nailed it. Actually, I called all of them correctly. I called all of them perfectly, except for D, which was in last place. I said Knob Creek single barrel, but it was actually 1792 foolproof. But I mentioned 1792 foolproof, so there's that. Now, that was good. That was fun. That actually restored my faith in myself. And if I honestly got them wrong, if I thought I got them wrong, I was confused because I got them right. But then I got, this is just what you deal with when you deal with me. It's a terrible idea. Stupid idea. Should I do the, I have a second flight from Thrasher. It's his birthday today. Thrasher's birthday. Happy 50 birthday. Um, he sent me a finished flight. Should I do that real quick? Before we say goodbye, it's 11, oh, it's 11, what, 11, 13? We've only been on for an hour? Is that right? Should I do another, the finished flight? How come Kevin Eek's messages keep getting retracted? What's happening? Is he calling me names? <laughs> All right, this is what I'm going to do. Second flight, I don't know. Should I do it? Should I do, I don't know. These are going in a, a community glass. <sighs> in Matt's defense, he does look awful, lot like he's ginger. Ugh, now I see why your messages keep getting retracted or deleted. The first person to put Kevin Eeks in timeout gets a slap on the ass from the internet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it's funny because I, I was never called a ginger until until one day someone was like, you're a ginger. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? And then after that, all downhill. DC put Kevin Eeks in timeout. <laughs> oh, I love you, DC. All right, we're going to do, Dave Markowski says, do another. It will give me a chance to smoke an Alec Bradley cigar while watching. Do it for Alec. I swear to goodness, those Alec Bradley cigars sound more and more appealing every single day. This box is taped great. Oh, Jesus. You guys can stop timing him out. Oh, my gosh. That's Okay, that's enough, because now he's got, what, 15 minutes? Kevin, I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Kev, oh my gosh. 140 people. Okay, well, guess what? 140 people get to watch me open this super loud box. So sorry. <laughs> Kevin's about to run the board of timeouts for mods. Oh, Dan, what's up, dude? Um, Wise Guy says, hey, buddy. So tell me those results. Wise Guy Whiskey Guy. <laughs> hey, buddy. So tell me those results again. <laughs> Wise Guy Whiskey Guy. Uh, he has a he has a channel. That's, oh, man. I hope, Stu, I hope you keep doing your videos the same way that you've been doing them because they're like first person with like he's got gloves on but it's like he's got like a gopro or something on his head and he's doing these uh whiskey reviews and um literally I, i've laughed quite a bit watching those hi everybody tonight we're reviewing <laughs> um so the the order the results were first place was stag junior batch 12 second place was ecbp c919 Third place was Country Ham Bookers, and rounding up to the back end was um, 1792 Foolproof. Well, oh, Henderson's out. See you, Will. Have a good night. Love you, buddy. MVP. MVP. Will Henderson's MVP center fielder. Oh, this box. He taped this box up like a 50-year-old. Oh my God. I can't even get it open. 
I almost want to mute myself. Come on. <sighs> I should have bought skizzers. Um, oh, we're getting there. We're getting there. I did not know this box was taped up this good. I thought about it too. I was like, oh, there's a little tape on there. Not a big thing. Thank you for the super chat, by the way, Dan. Or Bourbon Junkie Sean, whichever one you are. Guess against Dan. Sean would never super chat. <sighs> Just kidding. He might sometimes. Bust out my Nordic knife. I wish I had. I need to start carrying a knife. <sighs> I don't want to visit my wife in the emergency room, though. <sighs> America. Hell yeah. A. It's got tape on it. Didn't should have busted this open quicker. Alright. This is a finished whiskey. Oh, wow, that's full all the way to the top. Good gravy. Oh, I must put A into C. That would have been a bad thing. This is a finished Whiskey War from Thrasher. And this is where you see me doing very poorly. I will not do good at this at all. Um, how many are in here? What? Oh, I got myself into a freaking bourbon skirmish here. There's six of them in here. Why, does, why are there six? Oh, gosh. There's, there's way too many. See the nosy ups? Guys won't go through all that. <clears throat> um, I got I got through it. There are... Dan L. I, I got an email today that said that I had a FedEx package headed my way from Dan and Julie Like. And I was like, I like that. I thought you were going to wait till Monday to ship your package, but guess what? It's arriving on Monday instead. And how excited am I on a scale from 1 to 10? How about a 74,000? That's how excited I am. Super excited for that package. Can't wait to open it up, drool all over it, take pictures of it, and brag to the internet. C. Let's go in and see. So what's going on here is we have whiskeys from Finland. Oh, that'd be fun. That'd be fun. Caitlin Brubaker's leaving. Good night, Caitlin. Appreciate you coming in and watching this stupid stuff. Uh, appreciate all of you. I appreciate every last one of you. Every single one of you. Grandma says, join Patreon, bourbonskirmish.com. Uh, I can't believe that link works. So we have... 140 people watching me do my second flight of the night, which is going to be bad. What he did was he sent me a finished whiskey flight, and he said, you know, rank them from first to last, and then guess. I think he's have to read the directions again, or the instructions. But I think he said, basically, uh... Guess what they're finished in? And I don't I have any idea ever how to do that. So that was my finished whiskey joke. Oh, I get it now. I I get it. No, that's Aaron twenty nine eight fifty one. It can only get more entertaining now. <sighs> Aaron, you are the 29,851st person to pick the name Aaron. If I wanted to hear any any smack talk, I would have asked Aaron 29,850. Not you, jerk. Ian 
E is going, I don't even have a glass, it says E. Uh, this is my new E. E, America. Oh, this is going to be bad. Julielle says, don't be excited. Corks probably popped off and leaked everywhere because, you know, me. Nah, they didn't do that. Oh, I got to make a new sticker. Let's fire Sean. Courtney? Courtney Wolfell. Oh, that's a good idea, Courtney. Uh, thanks for... Has Courtney Wolfell ever been in chat? I have no idea. But guess what? Thank you for being in here. And yeah, Fire Sean for sure. We should Fire Sean. Dan should Fire Sean publicly. When they hit 50,000 subs, he should be like, got it from here, Chief. <laughs> oh, boy. So I made a sticker that says E on it, but it looks like an F. So everybody remember that. The E that looks kind of poor. Maybe I'll just fix it so it looks like an E. That makes way more sense. There's why is there six? Where do I? I don't even have another glass. I have here. All right, F is going in a tool glass because that's the way it's going to have to be. I'm not really concerned about getting these right since because I don't think I'll ever get them right. So F is going. In the tool glass. And this is F. <sighs> Let's get Matt 100 likes. Hit the thumbs up. That would be spectacular. Oh, there are 100 likes. Hell yeah. That's sweet. And one thumbs down from a guy or a gal who doesn't appreciate this. Beautiful face. All right, F is going in F. Bibbidi-bibbidi-bop. All right. Aaron, 29851. Love the entertainment. Aw, oh, thanks, man. I was just kidding with you. I don't care how many Aarons there are. You're the only Aaron with the balls enough to put your number. Because all the other ones before you, they didn't care to put a number on their name. But you, you don't care. You're like, guess what? I'm the 29,851st Aaron in this YouTube chat, and I have the balls and the. I feel like, I feel like you are an individual Aaron who doesn't really care if people judge you. And I don't judge you, but I kind of judge you. But still, thanks for the super chat. D is going in D. This is going to be terrible. How do I have? There are six glasses here. This is dumb. Twisted Steel and Sexy Appeal. Rod Real Sex Appeal. That's what one of my old fishing t-shirts used to say. Rod Real Sex Appeal. ADHD Fishing. <sighs> I don't even have enough challenge coins. Uh, not even close. What? Six? All right. I'm doing it for, for Mr. Thrasher's birthday. Uh, here's another one. Millions of peaches, peaches for me. Millions of peaches, peaches for free. Look out! Okay, I should probably put these in order to start. A, B, C, D, E, F. All right. Does my challenge coin even fit on a tool glass? Oh! My challenge coin falls in to a tool glass halfway and then it stops. All right. Let's do it. This is A. This is a finished whiskey war. What does he want to know? Where did it go? I found it. Uh, thanks for all the great content, and congrats on breaking 2,000 pounds, badass. Just joking. He meant subscribers. Review and enjoy the Barrel Batch 21. I did, and it was phenomenal. Spilled it on my crotch. It's really one of my favorites lately. It sure is. Uh, let's see. Next page. Oh, as for the blind, it's all finished whiskeys. Smell and taste them in the A, B, C, D, E order. Decide. Oh, he wants to know the proof? What they're finished in and rank them. All right. I can do that. Oh, man. Thrasher is the best. He is, uh, 
he's a good guy. He's one of the first, one of the first few people to to start to send just sending me stuff and just being an amazing person. So, uh, if you watch this Thrasher, happy birthday! And that's why I'm doing this whiskey war, or trademark bourbon skirmish. That smells like not bourbon, huh? A, I don't know. Ernie Brubaker, the Brubaker maker himself, is going to bed. Oh, good night, Ernie. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out and being in chat. I appreciate it. Dan L says a bunch of stuff that doesn't make sense. And again, and again. Unless it's backwards for something. This smells, A, smells like not wine. <laughs> Is A, A, like a rum finish? Possibly? This was a bad idea. What did Dan L do? I can't read backwards. Poor Terald. Poor Terald? I don't know. Jared O'Connor says, loving the stream, man. Keep them coming. I will. I have no idea what that means. Porter 316. <laughs> oh, yes. Son of a bitch. <laughs> So after I did the the barrel proof flight from Mr. Cook, A tastes like not much. Getting some like cornbread on the nose. Cornbread. Here this is weird. Uh if you melted cheddar cheese on top of cornbread, is what A smells like. Earth, no, I'm wrong. If you well, if you toasted cheddar cheese on top of cornbread, for show, for show. Is that my first for show for the night? <laughs> 138 people still? I love all of you. You're all magnificent. I would hear cheers. Bingo. Bango. Dango. You get cornbread on that? Smell it. You get that on there. You get that on there. Uh-oh. I got a text probably from my wife telling me to shut up. Go to bed. Let's find out. Mm, nope. Not sure. Wait, maybe it is. Oh, good. It's not. Nailed it. Whew, luckily. All right. Oh, that was probably right there. Um, wow, A is what I would consider to be... It doesn't taste like a wine-finished anything. Wow, how come everything keeps blowing up on my phone? Oh, Jeremy pledged $3. That's what that was. Thank you, Jeremy, for, for becoming a new friggin' patron. Friggin' love it. Love it so much. Oh, man. Um, I'm trying to think. A reminds me of something. Tommy D says, hey, my Super Chat thing may not have worked. Between Google and PayPal, my credit card company... I'm showing about 500 in support. What does that mean? They charged you $500 for your $100 super chat? That sounds like a lot. I hope that's not the case. I hope, I hope that's not the case. I, I don't know what to do about that at all. All right, let's go to B. Jeremy Riley says, love the stuff. Great work, man. Thanks so much. Josh Nichols says, nah. For show, the first for show. That should not be the case. B smells weird. B smells. I don't, if I were to guess, I'd say B is a finished whiskey for sure. For show. Dan L says, Porter 316 in lowercase letters. <laughs> Robert Newberry, no refund player. Well, 
I certainly didn't get a um, five hundo. So where's my mouse at? Friggin' almost lost my mouse like an idiot. I can't believe there's 138 people in here. That is 137 more than I would expect. I would expect my mom to be watching and judging me and going, Matthew should probably stop drinking right about now. DC says, I gotta go super wasted and I gotta drop the kids off at the pool in the morning. <laughs> Cheers, Porter. Love you, dude. Cheers, DC. Thanks for everything you do. You're amazing. You're the best. Friggin' love you, brother. Have a great night. Have a fantastic weekend. And we'll we'll talk soon. I think B might be maybe like a rum finish. I don't know. Oh, that's really sweet. What are finishes that are really sweet? Um, wow, what are, I, I, I don't know my finished whiskey at all. Like, I don't, it's really good, but it's really sweet. It doesn't taste like a wine, maybe it tastes like a wine. I have no friggin' idea. Wow, that's, that was really potent. Really potent. Matt talking about 1792 full proof made me pour some. Damn, it's good stuff. Drinks easier, the proof, lots of flavor. Yeah, that 1792 full proof is... Phenomenal. That's good stuff. Port. Uh, typically, I don't even know if typically is even the right word, but I would get like a drying on port a little bit. That didn't dry at all. I don't know. Uh, huh. Actually, let's do this. This isn't cheating because it's not. Because I'm not. Everybody who's in chat... Just type finish. What type of finishes are there out there? So, I mean, like, port finish, sherry finish, rum finish. Like, list the finishes so I can get them in my brain. Because otherwise, this is going to go really bad. On C. C. Kevin Eek says, not sure how to explain a $500 expense to the missus. Especially when you didn't pledge $500. Or you didn't. Yeah. yeah, that would be, um, did he say anything after that? Tommy D. Tommy D. Is that what you were trying to say? Is that it? 500? I hope not. I'm worried about you. I'm worried about you. <clears throat> Rum, red wine, Merlot, cognac. Oh, cognac, yeah, vermouth, Caribbean cask, brandy. Oh, you know what? I wonder if B's a brandy finish. Armagnac. Jared O'Connor's too mature for a finishing joke. It's definitely not vodka. Tommy D, what's going on? You're making a joke about vodka, but I don't know if you're... What's happening? C is really good. C is the highest proof. C is by far my favorite so far. I'm putting them in order in which I like them. Wow, C is good. Uh, C. Wow, C is like... I wonder if C is one of those Bardstown... The Bardstown ones that are just like... And friggin' nominal. That took me a minute. Oloroso Sherry, PX, PX, okay. I'm, there's not a chance I'll be able to guess between Oloroso Sherry and PX Sherry. Not, not a chance at all. Rum, Cognac, Armagnac, Red Wine, White Wine, Madeira, Port, Sauterne. I saw turn right on a red when he wasn't supposed to, and I hope he gets a ticket. Toasted, Double Cask, and Tequila. Huh. Oh, I've also had a gin-finished rye whiskey before. So there's that. We need to wrap. I don't can't just wrap. <sighs> I might be able to wrap in a little bit. Tommy D's feed's screwed up now. 
no clue um, what's going on with Tommy D. So let's go to the D. Oh, wow. D's gin. D's a gin finish. For show. For show. Oh, wait. Maybe not. What the? It's good, but also weird. But it might be weird because of all the other stuff I've drank before it. I like D a lot. I do like D. I think D is, I'm going to say, hey, I got a question. What was that Chateau Le Scooby-Doo Le Blau finished in? Was that, a, was that Brandy finished? Was that what that was? I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Oh, my gosh. There's two more. Uh. Oh, my mom's in chat. My mom figured out how to chat. Everybody say hi to Bev Porter. That's my mom. My mom is the, the she's the one who made me. She's the one who birthed, she birthed this. So, <sighs> thank you for that. Love you, mom. You're the best. Tell dad I said hello, and I love him too. He's probably snoring on the chair. With the TV muted. But when he wakes up, tell him I love him. Oh, Armagnac. Armagnac was, um... Was the Chateau Le Blue. Blah, blah. <laughs> Everybody chanting Bev. Now that's good. Every... She loves she loves it when everybody calls her mom. <clears throat> Hi, Miracle Mama. Hi, Biv. <laughs> Hells yes. My mom is the best. She is the best. She's always been the best. She'll always be the best. The best there is, best there was, best there ever will be. Cody Thyler, Thieler, UPA. Um, E is a smoky son of a goose. Grandma says, thank you for creating such an entertaining human. <laughs> uh, does Bev Porter like the bourbon? Um, her husband loves the bourbon, that's for sure. I gotta, I gotta send my dad a huge box of bourbon here soon. She'll tolerate it, I'm sure. But oh, E. E is also really good. Wow. No pressure, Matt. Better blind, right? See, I'm not even. This is something I'm not even uh, remotely concerned about. Because I don't know my finished bourbon, my finished whiskeys at all. So I'm going to say that I think E is rum. I think E tastes like a little bit of a rum finish. So I should, so I should make a note. A, B, C, D, E. I think E was rum. I thought, shit. I thought D was gin. I thought... C was uh, Armagnac. Armagnac. Uh, I'll say D. Shit. Gin. But B. I think B was brandy. And A was like a. Um, some sort of wine, red wine. Now let's go to F. Equal opportunity gun says to my mom, love the UP, heading to St. Ignace in the morning. Well, that's about as little UP as you can get. That's like me saying, oh, I don't even know where I'm going with this. I love, I love the, oh shit, 
See, I'm getting myself into a pickle. That's like saying, uh, telling somebody who's like uh, a cruise ship, a cruise ship captain who has been captaining cruise ships throughout the Atlantic Ocean for several years. And then they're like, you're like, oh, you are a captain on the Atlantic, eh? I love the Atlantic Ocean. I'm going to the beach in the morning. That's St. Saint Ignis is the beach to the UP. Go further north. Do it. Double dog dare ya. Go to Pitcher Rocks. Go to Pitcher Rocks in Munison. You won't be disappointed. You'll love it. You'll friggin' love it. And if you don't love it, then that sucks. We got a lot of people in chat. A lot of people talking to my mom. That's cool. Got more notifications on my phone. What's going on there? Not quite sure. Josh Hamilton pledged $3. Hells yes. Another new patron. High five. Nux, slap on the ass. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Copper Harbor's next month. There you go. That's that's about as far north as you can get. Hell yeah. Awesome. Um. Ah, oh, yeah. The UP is where I call home. The UP is phenomenal, except for winter time. In which case, those ten months suck big balls, gigantic ones. All right, let's go to F. <laughs> Mike Baker says the beach is for suckers. Thank, you, thank you for the super chat, Mike. You're the best. E, I'm not getting, or F, I'm not getting a lot on the tool glass. Let's swirl it. So equal opportunity guns. You must be from the lower peninsula then? Is that what's, what's, is that what's up? <laughs> Steam face talking to my mom. My mom listening. UP sucks in the winter, but summer is amazing. Last year it was on a th Thursday. <laughs> summer was on a Thursday. Yeah, I know what that's like. Kevin Eeks with a five dollar super chat. Thank you, Kevin. <sighs> I've been waiting Eeks for that super chat. What do you think about your son becoming a tiny niche celebrity on YouTube? That's hilarious. Hey, uh, Equal Opportunity Gun says he really likes Marquette. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're from, like, originally from just north, just north of Marquette. But uh, 142 in chat, new high. This is the most I've had in chat for this long, for this long of a period of time, for sure. 146, yeah. This is, uh, this is... This is new territory for me, so I feel like I should probably put on my serious face and make sure everybody knows that tonight is a night that they won't forget. Tonight is a night you won't forget. Stick around. I don't know. Yeah, this is this is phenomenal. It's it's uh it's funny thinking that there's 140, 150 earlier. That's ridiculous. Oh, wow. F is the best. F is, I don't know what, I don't know what's an F. I don't give an F, but it's phenomenal. Everybody move down. F is the best one. I don't even care. Let's see. Oh, yeah. I, what is F finished in? Oh, you know what? I think, question, somebody in chat tell me this, uh, 150 people, hells yeah, uh, what, what is Angel's Envy, is Angel's Envy cask strength finished in something? I wonder if F is Angel's Envy cask strength. Angel's Envy cask strength, is that, is that port finished still? Might be, could be, possibly. I don't even know. 152 in chat. Time to open the BTAC. 
I will open the BTAC on my one year anniversary. That's when I'm going to open the BTAC for show. Port finish. Wilne Rivera says, What are you doing? <sighs> Wilne Rivera just busted in the chat like my wife busting into the room right now. What are you doing? And then I'm like, This, I'm doing this. That's what I'm doing. I think that F is Angel's Envy cast strength. Why do I think that? No, not a clue. Other than I think it might be. My why does my phone keep blinking up? That's cool. That's fine. Oh, you know what's funny? <laughs> All right. Okay. My phone, my phone has been blown. Okay, this is this makes me happy and also kind of funny. All right. There's a bar song that's finished in IPA beer casks. There's not a single whiskey here finished in a beer cask. I think there might be a Bardstown, like a Copper and Kings, or maybe like the Chateau de la 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 Badeau Mago. That one might be in here. Not quite sure, but I keep getting this. Is I'm sorry. I don't want. I don't mean to break up the fun. There's 150, 152 people, but there's a lurker in chat who. Um. This okay. This you know what? I don't even care. I'm gonna I'm gonna blow it up with it. Always love whiskey is the gentleman who is in charge of the uh, North Atlantic Bardstown Bourbon Company page, and apparently he's watching. And he says, "Boom, 150. Time to drink some Bardstown Bourbon Company." And I will absolutely. That I'm gonna finish the night on a Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series two. After I pull, after I figure out what I'm drinking here, we're going to finish the night. I promise you on that. So get Bardstown Bourbon Company in the house. Does that make me a little bit nervous? Absolutely. Do I start to wonder if I said anything off color or poorly? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Should I be scared? Probably. He also says asterisks that have nothing to do with the judging. That's okay. Uh, you're here, and that makes me super duper happy. Everybody in chat, tell them he has nothing. He says he has nothing to do with the judging, but if I can get a good Matt chat going, it might just let him know that I mean business. I deserve it. I'm the winner. I'm the best. I'm the best there is. Best there was. Best there ever will be. And I deserve to be the world's top whiskey taster. Am I your spirit animal? Only if you are a 319 pound black bear that's white from Hartford, Connecticut, by the way of Market, Michigan, then sure, spirit animal for sure. Matt, 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 160 in chat. Matt, Matt, Matt. I, okay, this is me. This is my, everybody's chanting my name. Matt, Matt. And then, Hello, welcome to the Bardstone Bourbon Company. My name is Matt, and today we're going to have a lot of fun. Fun? What is fun, you say? Well, let me show you. Tonight, today at the Bardstone Bourbon Company, I'm going to show you a little bit about this, a little bit about that, but at the end of the day, you're not even going to care. You're just going to leave here saying, that was a super fun time. That was amazing. That was great. I had a wonderful time. I learned a little bit. A little bit? I learned a lot. And that gigantic individual who talked to us, he grew on me. At first, didn't really like him. But when we were done, guess what? Love that guy. I'll come back. And guess what? That is why I deserve to be the world's top whiskey taster. Am I the best whiskey taster on the planet? Yup. Absolutely. Uh, do I deserve the job? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, are there people who will put up a fight to make them feel like they're the top whiskey taster? Probably but they'll fail. They'll fail miserably. $5 super chat from Mike Franklin says, Matt. 
Love it. Friggin' love it. Let's do it. Equal Opportunity Gun says, you would be an amazing tour guide on a bourbon trail. I want nothing more than to talk to people about bourbon. Can I filter myself? So filtered. I have a three and four year old daughter, three year old daughter and a four year old daughter. Every single day, my day from six o'clock in the morning until 11 o'clock at night is me filtering myself and they love me. So I feel like I can filter myself perfectly fine for the guests, the beautiful people visiting the Bardstown Bourbon Company. Guess what? Am I the world's top whiskey taster? Yes. Should you be intimidated? Not a chance. Am I going to give you the best day of your damn life? Better believe it. Sign this waiver because you might just pass out out of excitement from what you're going to do today, people. I feel like that's a pretty good intro. That's all. Smartest bourbon guy ever? Yeah, for sure. All right, let's figure this out. Kevin Eek says he has three daughters. 163. That's a record. That's a record. And if that's not true, then I'm wrong. But I feel like I'm right. All right, let's find the results. He sent the results. Ah, thank you, everybody, for... Um, thank you. <laughs> thank you guys so much for playing along. Um, it's fun. It's a show. This is great. This is, this is what we do. Uh, this is what I do. I don't want to have anything boring happening. I don't want to be like the guy who's just... Tasting notes are fun. Nosing notes are fun. Enjoying bourbon is fun. But enjoying people and enjoying company and enjoying the just the camaraderie and the the group of people who love what we all love, that's what it's about. That's what I'm about, and that's what this entire thing is about. And guess what? I'm about to find out what these whiskeys were finished in. $5 super chat from a gentleman above. Uh, John B, show us your drunk Dr. Seuss skills. Uh, we could do some hop on pop. We could do some green eggs and schlammered. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. 165 people. It says don't open until finished. I won't. <laughs> I love every single one of you. Envelope is opened. Oh, we can put them all individually. Why is what's up with the peaches? What's going on with the peaches? People, people have been talking about peaches for a while. Got 99 problems with Mad Ain't One, that's for sure. All right. Uh, I don't even know what I said was finished and what anymore. Uh, let's see. Did I write them down somewhere? Yeah, I must have wrote them down somewhere. Wait, right, here we go. F. I think F has got to be the. Angels and cask strength. So, yeah. These were all actually good. I think... I think A was my least favorite. And I think A was also the lowest proof. I'm, I'm sort of tasting the lemon a little bit. Okay, I can't. All right. <clears throat> wow. Two thumbs down. Those people are the worst. And guess what? They're going to bed having given a... Th Can you imagine that? Can you imagine... This is right before they went to bed. Right before they went to bed, they gave a thumbs down. Then they closed their computer or shut off their smartphone and went to bed. Guess what? Their dreams, probably not the best. 122 of you gave thumbs ups. All of your dreams, probably the best on the planet. Probably the best dreams you'll ever dream. Because you shut your world off in a world of positivity. And that's a pretty positive thing. I love you for it. In one, two, three, four, five. In sixth place was A. 
I think A was the lowest proof, and I thought A was probably finishing a, like a red wine, possibly. Possibly. And this is, okay, I'm going to get these wrong, just so you know. Like, I'm not a finished whiskey expert yet. When I work for the Bardstown Bourbon Company, I will become a finished whiskey expert. For sure. For sure. A is, oh, the reason I'm not a finished whiskey expert is because I don't drink a lot of red wine. I don't drink a lot of rum. I don't drink a lot of cognac. I don't drink a lot of Armagnac or gin. Like, those flavor profiles kind of swerve me a little bit. But I'm very interested to learn them, for sure. And last place was A. A is Angel's Envy, the regular one. Uh, 86.6 proof, so it was a low proof. That's what I said. And it's finished in port wine barrels. And I said A was red wine. So guess what? Angel's MV came in sixth place, and it got it right. Got it freaking right. That's amazing. That's really good. That's really good. Um, ADHD Whiskey, his last name is Eaches, like peaches. What was I saying? Each. X, X, oh, jeez, I'm sorry. Um, if I could rewind a little bit, I'd just like to say that, oh, what did I do? I broke it. I broke everything. Are you still there? You guys are still there. So I, what I should have said was, still going. Kevin Eaches. Friggin' Eaches. <sighs> okay, okay. Got it. We got it. We all got it. All right. Uh, in fifth place was B. I think. Yeah. And I thought B was brandy finished. That's just what I said. I don't, I don't know a lot about brandy. I know that brandy is brandy. It's like what's well, distilled, distilled wine. So it should be like a really sweet. I don't drink it brandy. So guess what? We'll find out. B, what I say for, I don't know. Proof. Let's, he wants no proof. So. Uh, wow, 90 proof, 90 proof. B is Metallica's Blackened. It is blend of straight whiskeys finished in blackberry casks. Blackberry? Is that real? I did not know the black and was finished in blackberry casks. Uh, it's also 90 proof. So I got the proof right. I said brandy because it was really sweet, but I don't know what. Yeah. Anyway, um, weird. Okay. So there's that. E. What did I say E was? <sighs> People are really going crazy on the eaches. I'm gonna have to re I'm gonna have to rewatch the stream tomorrow to find out where this where this peaches thing started. Am I dumb? Should I know this already? Should I should I know this? I feel like I should. 161, 162 still? Alright, that's weird. Um I think that what did I say for C? C oh I thought C was wait no. E. Oh, E, I thought was like a, a rum finish, maybe. And it's in fourth place. Peaches come in a can. They were put there in a, by a man in a factory downtown. He tried correcting you so long ago. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is that why? That's why you started singing the song tonight? Did Eric Eaches? 
make me start singing peaches and then I call them Eric Eeks. <laughs> Eeches. Wow. That makes sense. Yeah, I think E I think E is a rum finish. I think E is a rum finish around 100 proof. 105 proof. E is a rum finish around 105 proof. C, D, E. And it comes in fourth place. Um, e is dovetail. Yeah, it's 122.9 proof. Wow, did I get that one wrong? Curiosity Public is in the house. There's everybody's laughing, and I have no idea why. I'm so sorry. Uh, whiskey finished in rum, port wine, and Dunn Vineyard Cabernet barrels. So I got the rum part. Um, I got the proof wrong, but I got the rum right. So I'll give myself a little bit of credit for that. For sure. Really? E. E is duffed. I've been considering dovetail for a long time because I see it on a shelf locally and I'm like, do I buy it? Do I not buy it? And I've got to figure out, do I buy it? You know what? I am satisfied that I didn't pay the price for the dovetail. Um, I don't dislike it, but it's not something that I love tremendously. So, yeah, that's good. So thank you. Thank you, Thrasher, for sending me that, because now I can put that off. I can put that out of my brain. It's not going to FOMO me to death. So we have uh, first place was F, then C and D. So let's go to D, which is... What did I say D was? Gin. I went out. I went out on a limb and said gin. All right. Let's get let's get a proof reading on D. Wow. After E, that tastes like nothing. Wow, that's basically non-existent. I'm going to say, I think D is a high west double rye finished in gin barrel. So 104 proof. That's my guess. Here we go. D is, not looking. What? Oh, okay. I flubbed up there. I got the proof pretty close. It's 100 proof, but it's batch 77 of Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. Wait, no. Joseph. Oh, no, no, no. It's not Cigar Blend. My bad. Joseph Magnus Regular. Batch 77 straight bourbon whiskey. Finished in sherry and cognac casks. All right. I am 100% unfamiliar with cognac. I think, okay. I think cognac is like an extra aged brandy. Am I right there? It's like from a specific region though, or a specific place, possibly. Cognac, cognac is a brandy and armagnac is a brandy, possibly. Could be wrong, let me know if I'm right. Wow, the peaches and eaches thing is still going. <sighs> Am I that I'm that big of an idiot? I missed it that bad, huh? Where it's that big of a joke? Yikes, that's scary to me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Eric Eeks. It's not even Eric, it's Kevin. Oh my gosh. Kevin Eaches. So sorry. <sighs> Alright, here we go. 
and second place was C, and first place was F. I've got six whiskeys to determine after I just determined four. So I'm doing a, like so much work here. Give me a break. Give me a little bit of a break. Wise guy, whiskey guy, sipping on Hennessy, riding on my enemies. Sounds like Tupac to me. Armagnac is another specific region. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, so Eric. I don't know why I said that. In my brain, it was Eric Eeks, but it's actually Kevin Eeches. So, <sighs> Kevin, I love you, brother. So sorry. I'm totally fine. What are you guys talking about? No, listen. Listen to me. Listen to me. If I were totally slammered, I would tell you, but I'm not. I feel like I am still going strong. I've been going for two hours and eight minutes. I haven't spat a drip in a bucket, but for some reason, Eric came out of my head. I'm sorry. If that's an apology, and there's some there's some love still there. And that's that slam. Yes, just give it up. Give it up. Sorry. Second place was C. And C, this is funny because for some reason, okay, this is this is my guessing. Uh, I thought C could possibly be like a Bard Stomp Bourbon Company because it was really good. And then I didn't know which one. Maybe it's the Copper and Kings. Maybe it's like the Chateau de Lebeau. Um, and then I thought the first place was Angels Envy Cask Strength. So let's do it. Let's do C first. Uh, let's see if C is a high proof Bardstown Bourbon Company. Let's see, let's see if I can get the proof. Julie L going to bed. People's names, right? Drink the Bardstown. Keep being awesome. Squeal on. Wee. Thanks, Julie. Have a great night. You're the best. Honestly, freaking amazing. Julie and Dan L, amazing people. So. Good night. Have a fantastic weekend. We'll talk soon. I don't know. C is really good. C and F are both really good, but I think F is like try F again. Okay. C is much lower proof. I don't think C is a Bardstown. What could C be? F, F, like, I tasted C and it was good, but then I tasted F right after it, and F, like, overwhelmed the palate with flavor. It just, like, every single part of the tongue, from front to back, the entire mouth coated it really well, and then the flavor was, like, like chocolate-covered raisins and also cinnamon and like a, a sweet, like a sweet, um, a doughy, like a Cinnabon, just kind of like all just flamed up. Wonder if F is a rye. Is that why I like it so much? Or if F is just high proof. I don't know. Anyway, so C is in second place. I'm going to say C has got to be, it's got to be around 100 and, 110 proof. I don't know. C is 164 watching? That's stupid. C is Blood Oath Pack 6. Finished in cognac barrels. What did I say? I said C was Armagnac. Cognac. Armagnac. That's pretty good. For, for somebody who doesn't who knows nothing about Finnish whiskeys, I would say that that's pretty good for show. And then first place was F. And I said I thought F was Angels Envy Cask Strength. So it's a port barrel finish. And yeah, F is. Oh, wow. Okay. That's why. That's 
A uh, couple funny things about this. <laughs> All right. Here's okay. Inside baseball. Here's some inside baseball. <sighs> Kevin W. Eaches says, "I know someone makes a peach flavored whiskey, but I wouldn't recommend it." <sighs> I am hoping that Kevin W. Eaches isn't somebody super important that's going to determine lots of things in my future because so sorry. Uh, Brad Buchan says, or Butchin, or Beaches, whatever his name is, says, it's a great time tonight. Thanks, Brad. Peach brother. <laughs> oh, geez. Uh, anyway, this, the winner was Fourgate Batch 6. It's a straight bourbon whiskey from Fourgate, finished in cognac and rum. 126.4 proof. All right. This is what's funny. So, <laughs> the person who supplied the flight tonight, Thrasher, somebody reached out to me and said that the 21st of August, which is tonight? Yeah. Is tonight. Somebody reached out and said that tonight is Thrasher's 50th birthday. What do I buy him? I said, what's the price limit? They told me. And I said, buy four gate batch six. Come to find out, he sent that to me. So he already had it. Whoops. Whoops. And, but it's still really good. I put that. Put that first. Brad Buchan says, first time pronouncing was correct. Can't remember how I pronounced it the first, but Buchan's on Goldman. Awesome. I've had a fantastic time. Now, listen, I'm going to go. I've got to get up. I do have to get up to get my Discovery Series, Series 2, and I'll be right back. In the meantime, pour yourself a dram of the finest Bardstown Bourbon Company product you have. And if you don't have one, just listen to my neighbors fight outside while I go get mine. Got to go get it. Gotta get it. We're so back. Oh, we're back. We are back, and we are back. 160 still watching? That's pretty good, considering I'm gone. Not even here. Don't have one. What do you mean? All right. Here's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, wait. Oh, I had to fix that light. Back in business. The light on my face. Nailed it. All right. Um... Okay. Oh, glass is totally fine. What we're going to do, what we are going to do is take my Tua glass, and we're going to rinse it with a little bit of filtered Harford, Connecticut municipal water. It's totally filtered. Totally good. We're going to rinse it to a glass, get a little hydration going. Little hydration. Oh man, hydrogen, oxygen, all the best gins. It's a hydrogen finished. Oh, oh, that's fine. Totally fine. All right, so this goes out to the people who are making this real and the whoopty deal. I don't know where I'm at. Here we go. Found it. People are chanting the word Tom now. 
That's cool. And by word, I mean name. Kevin Beaches retracted a statement. Makes sense. All right, so if you don't have if you don't have for yourself a Bardstown Bourbon Company whiskey, you can go to their website and find mm -hmm. out where you can buy them. By the way, their stoppers, especially on the Discovery series, this is like a 50 gram stopper. How do I know that? Because I compared stopper weights one night. I was like, who's got the heaviest stopper? Um, guess what? Bardstown Bourbon Company didn't come in first place, but Brad Beaches, Buchan, with the comment says, Discovery Series 2 in my glass. Thanks for the great live stream. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh. see it. Yes. All right. Whoops. Oops. All right. Now. The Discovery Series is, if you guys don't know, so there was Discovery Series one, and last year, I didn't have a, I didn't have a bottle of it, but I got a sample of it. I got a nice, generous sample from a very generous person, and I tasted it, and it blew my mind. I was like, "What the hell?" The funny thing is. This is how you can actually kind of gauge what's really, really good compared to what's really good. I had a sample of Bardstown Bourbon Company Discovery Series Batch 1, Series 1. And I poured it in a glass, and I, I tasted through it, and I was like, what the hell is going on here? Like, it was really, really complex. It was the first really super complex bourbon I've ever had, especially at a really high proof. Um, so what I did with like the last little bit, I poured it back on the sample bottle and like put the lid back on. And then I had my wife taste it the next day. My wife doesn't even drink bourbon, but I had to pour it like the last little half ounce in a glass. I was like, babe, you got to drink this. This is so good. So last year, batch one, series one made my top five bourbons of the year. So I had to buy a batch two, a series two, the series two. I've shared, I kept sharing this because I want people to taste it because it's so good. Um, it's really cool because they source, the, the Discovery Series is a sourced, a sourced line. They source their whiskeys from various places and then they blend them together. So this is 44%. This is all Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, by the way. This, there's no Indiana MGP in here. Uh, the Series 2 is all is all Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. 44% uh, 10-year, 39% 12-year, and 17% 14-year. So if you were to see an age statement on the bottle, on the freaking bottle, you would normally see a 10-year age statement. If they had to say, if they had to put an age statement on it, it'd be 10 years. But there's 10, 12, and 14 year bourbon here. And they come from different places, obviously, because the mash bills are different. The The majority of the bourbon is uh, 75, 13, 12. Then the 39% is 74, 18, and 8. And then 17% is 78, 10, and 12. Now, that's not a big deal. Like, this is all high corn. High corn bourbon for sure. Uh, it's really, really good. So it's 12 to or 10 to 14 years old. This is so good. I think that if you were to, uh, to gather yourself a bunch of barrels, I mean, blending is hard because typically what happens in my situation, Wise Guy Whiskey Guy says, Hit me with the results one more time. I will. I'll do that for sure. But um, my neighbors outside, they're fight Actually. <laughs> okay. It's hard to think because I hear two females outside and they're yelling at each other so loud. I want to be your friend. I've always wanted to be your friend. 
Oh, you want to be my friend? I've always wanted to be your friend. And they're getting very upset. For people who want to be friends, they're not acting very friendly. Anyway, when you start like putting barrels together or start putting whiskeys together, what happens is a lot of astringency and a lot of problems. So to put a blend together that's actually not only drinkable, but enjoyable, complex, and worth $130, take some time so major props to, to whoever blended this this is so on the nose you get you're gonna get some sweet oh man <laughs> it's so funny because i'm nosing this and i'm like oh sweet oak and i and in my left ear i hear fight me come on and fight me just fight me <laughs> like outside like what's happening is they don't want to see me succeed but guess what granola oh cinnamon granola a little bit of peanut a little bit of peanut peanut cinnamon granola they're fighting so hard out there You don't know anything about me. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Tommy D says, do you like those glasses better? No, actually, I don't. To be honest. Tommy D makes a great point. No bars down. Port some Panda Express instead, a.k.a. A little Book 4. Okay. Grant Dawson. Do you not get Chinese food on Little Book 4? I swear to goodness, if that's not Chinese food, my middle name isn't Miley Cyrus. Mm. So that's a little bit of water. If the cops show up, will you take the camera out there? I can't. The camera is tethered to about a six-foot power cable. But, yeah. It's like every night. Every single night, it's something. All right. I'm taking the two glass into the Glencairn. Because the Glencairn is what's going to really, really make the difference. Possibly. But thank you for the Super Chat, Grant Dawson. There's still 146 in here. That's pretty good. Do you like Discovery Series 1 or 2 more? It's hard to say because like, I only had a sample of Discovery Series 1. Whereas I've, I've had an entire bottle of Series 2. I've sampled a lot of it out, but like this is my probably my fourth fourth or fifth pour out of Discovery Series 2. But guess what? Discovery Series 3 is already out. And it's got a red label, so you're not going to expect it. And it's also MGP. It's a lot of uh, Indiana bourbon. Uh, if you don't, I keep checking... Whoa, okay, I got a challenge. I got a challenge. Um, all right. Okay. Son of a bitch. So, the. I wish I knew. I, if you're in chat, always love whiskey. Put your name in chat. I want to know your name. Um, so I got blend details from, from number two, which is kind of funny from discovery series two, but he says prize between me and you, he says, but please feel free to discuss openly the following. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this correctly, but he says, if you can guess all three correct mash bills and who normally bottles them, he'll send me a bottle of Barstone. Bur yeah, shit, I'm going to screw this up. Uh, Bod's, uh, he'll send me a bottle of, this is my life. I have ADHD. I honestly do. How am I supposed to concentrate with Rev Monster out there? 
That, that was like a dirt bike in Hartford, Connecticut. How am I supposed to even? Jeez Louise. Discovery Series number two just won double gold in the San Fran. And then that's, it's well worth it. Like, Discovery Series two is phenomenal. But anyway, he, uh, he wants me to guess the mash bills and who normally bottles them. Oh, so I see. Um, so one of them is uh, 75 corn, 13 rye, 12 malted barley. The other one is 74 corn, 18 rye, 8 malted barley. And the third is 78 corn, 10 rye, and 12 malted barley. I would say... I gotta taste it first. Where did I put it? Did I put it here? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? I you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to win a, a bottle of Discovery Series Series 3. While I ignore the fact that somebody's getting beaten to a pulp outside my window. Y'all look at him? I mean, I guess. Jesus, this is terrible. To think Matt used to whisper in his... I still whisper in my videos because I don't want to wake up my wife and children. But, you know, I can't... Jeez. Oh, tell him to go get a room. I would say... I think, you know what, the mash bills... I'm not 100% uh, sure on the mash bills. I think um, we're too many drinks in to... I think that it's... Uh, Wild Turkey, Heaven Hill, and Barton, if that's... Those are my three guesses. Wild Turkey, Heaven Hill, and Barton. I'm not quite sure if that's correct or not. And if not, then whoops. If so, then yay. But I think that... um, The fact that... I, I don't know those mash bills off, off the top of my head at 12.30 at night with neighbors busting out chainsaws to cut each other's heads off. I can't really think that well. But, but, um, it doesn't really matter where you get the whiskey. What matters is the result. And the result is phenomenal. So wherever they source, wherever they source these barrels from, and then how they blended them is the real secret to the success. Like this. There's a, a sweet oak that you get from like a wild turkey bottled and bond, the 17-year. I get that a lot. There's like a medicinal cherry, like a Luden's cough drop. There's also like a black pepper on there. Like um, like a circus almond, like a cinnamon almond. It's, it's not like a, a peanut, you know, but it's a, a sweeter, more... Um, an altered nut, like a candied almond. And now everything is so quiet outside. Like they just gave up. They're like, you know what? We're done here. And they were, they were just done. They're slammed. I don't think they're slammed outside. I think just they like conflict. There's so much conflict in this city. I see people yelling at each other all the time. I'm like, just relax, man. Just calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, wise guy with says, I have two Bardstown number three, maybe one with your name. Oh, maybe that'd be sweet. Circus Almond, you know what I mean? Like, um, like you go to a fair and they've got the, the triangle, it's a triangle with a candied almond in it. Yeah, candied almond for sure. Three Musketeers bar. Oh, man, the note, the nose on Discovery series two is phenomenal. Then the oh, man. Wow. Um, so with barrel proof bourbon, with barrel proof whiskey or high proof whiskey, there's a few ways you can go. Um, a lot of it is really spiky. Like the 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 palate hits you like on the, the back of the tongue, 
really hard and then it just dives dip tuck dive other ones spikes lingers and then drops and discovery series it doesn't spike but it plateaus and keeps going it's like a it's like smooth sailing it's 122 proof smooth sailing of like an oaky I don't want to say medicinal cherry because it, it, it's got a cherry note. It's more like um, I grew up in Traverse City, Michigan. Like when I was really, really young, my family moved there for a bit. And the cherry festival, I didn't like those cherries because I was young and they weren't as sweet as like sweet cherries, like maraschino cherries. But this is like an oaky actual cherry, like a an orchard, a cherry orchard tree. If you ran through a cherry orchard, ran directly face first into a tree, and then woke up six hours later with your face on the ground next to a bunch of cherries in the grass, and you're like, what the hell happened? What the hell happened? Yeah, that's what that smells like. Cherry orchard at the the roots of a tree, for sure. For sure. Anyway. Do you hear that? It's dead silence outside. Super quiet. Super quiet. Like nobody even did anything. Jeez Louise. I need, I need to move back to the UP. Jared, I, now I feel embarrassed saying people's names because of the peaches guy. Jared Schmimke. Schmimke. Grand Travers, boo boo. Actually, I was in Sutton's Bay. I went to kindergarten and first grade in Sutton's Bay, Michigan. I was a Norseman. Come to find out, I'm an actual Norseman. I'm a friggin' red haired Norseman. But I started out kindergarten as a Norseman also in Sutton's Bay, Michigan. The Monte Carlo of Michigan, it's a great place. Cherry Festival, are you from Michigan? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I'm from, like, born and raised in Munising, Michigan. I went to kindergarten and first grade in Sutton's Bay. Then we moved back up to the Upper Peninsula and Elger County Upper Peninsula for show. They're friends now, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of, um, not a lot, but like there, there are some whiskeys you can just like kind of sit around and just smell. And you could, I could actually take Discovery Series, smell it, and then I could play with the stopper for a little while. Oh, that's actually a really good idea. <sighs> the next time I want to really think about something, something important. And then I, when my wife says I'm not allowed to drink, I'm going to pour a glass of Discovery Series, take the stopper out, and just swirl the stopper, oh, smell the Discovery. And this is where I feel like I do my best thinking. It's a 50-gram stopper and a 50 out of 10 bourbon. Oh, man, that's good. I don't know. Anyway, this was phenomenal. This was a fun night. I really, really enjoyed myself. Um, the first flight I did, I nailed it. I actually freaking nailed it, which is important to me. Um, I need to learn the mash bills from other distilleries more and better, for sure. I need to figure out. I need, ah, it's not figuring out. It's basically learning which distilleries have which mash bill. Should I know that? Yeah. Should I? For sure. Um, is it that important in the final product? I don't know. Maybe. But the blend is where it's at, and it's kind of what I'm figuring out with the Discovery Series here. The the finished Whiskey War, the bourbon skirmish, as I like to call it, was pretty heavy duty. Um, with Batch 6 Forgate coming out on top. I don't know. Today was fun. Today was a great night. We did phenomenal, everybody. We had over 160 people in here at one point, which is crazy to me. Super crazy. Super awesome. 
Ah, oh, man. Always love whiskey. Me and you got to chat, talk. We need to give each other knucks and high fives. Maybe a slap on the ass. Who knows? Um, there is, I got to give an update. We are, wow. So since, oops, oh, the past, so yesterday at 11.30 in the morning, I had 2,450 subscribers. I just passed 20, we did 400 subs in a day. 400 subscribers. That's phenomenal, crazy, insane, craziness, man. Matt is selling the Barstown experience, not the mash bills. I mean, the uh, Eric Eeks says, Matt gave me a new name. I sure did. I'm sorry that I did that to you. But realistically, the coolest part about Barstown Bourbon Company, in my in my opinion, is like the Discovery series. So the Fusion series, they're sourcing, and they're also putting their own distillate into the blend. But they disclose what's in there. They're so transparent. Like, they're aging a bunch of stuff at their warehouses, but, like, they're telling you exactly what you're drinking. And there's no qualms about it. They're, like, they're bragging about it. They're like, this is what's in here. And for the geek, the person who's, like, the person who really wants to know, that's really important. Uh, the normal person who does that distillery tour isn't going to put a microscope up against that mash bill and be like, oh, yeah, only 44%? Is that is that true? Oh, 17%? Is that honestly what you did there? Because I don't believe it. No, the, the majority of the people who go through that tour, and they just all they want to do is have a glass of something super enjoyable, learn a little bit about it, and enjoy it with people they love. And that's what bourbon's all about. That's what whiskey's all about, is tasting something you love with people you love and enjoying it together, talking about it, having a good time, and just being you with them. That's it. That's all I got to say about that. Well, Wise Guy Whiskey Guy says, your channel is number two in my book. That's a nice. Next to Mash and Drum, Fusion Series is also good for the price point. Uh, yeah, the Fusion Series is different. Um, so I have Fusion Series 2, I believe. I think it's two. It's uh, What they're doing there is they're taking sourced whiskey, stuff they get from other places, and they're blending it together with the stuff that they've made. I mean... But they're telling you exactly where it came from. It's awesome. Like, you're distilling your own stuff, and you're aging it. And the older the Fusion Series gets, the better it's going to be, obviously, because the older their distillate's getting. Like, hey, guess what? This is only this is what our stuff is, tastes like after two years blended with stuff that's 10 years old from somewhere else. I don't know. Like, it's something that... It's it's inspiring. Like people who are honest, people who want to get you to like what they're doing, and they're not afraid to tell you how they're doing it. That's freaking phenomenal. I love it. I love it. I love it more than I love some things. A lot of things. I almost have my baseball card collection, but I haven't gone through that in a long time, so I'm not sure. Good words from Matt. Yeah, let's do it. Let's uh Let's have a final cheers for the night. 145 people still. We've been live for two hours and 41 minutes. Seems like a long enough time. Beagle Rare 2.0. Not quite Beagle Rare because I'm always, I was pretty afraid I was going to get sued for that. But Old Charter Distillery will have a 2020 and a 2021 release. There's a new challenge coming to the Whiskey Tube community. Shark Tank. Um, I put a little bit of a delay on it because of the whole COVID deal, but we're going to make it happen. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun, for sure. Porter316 says, I just whooped this bourbon and skirmish his ass, for sure. All right, everybody. Um, 
Raise your glass. Give it a swirl. A little cheers action. My name is Matt, and this was ADHD Whiskey. This was a lot of fun. A uh, great time. It, it actually gave me a little bit of confidence that I was missing out on. I felt pretty poorly the last few weeks. I was focusing on the wrong stuff. I wasn't focusing on the right stuff. But I feel good now. I feel I feel like I can win this. I can win this thing. We can win it together. Make it dizzy. Wise guy with kids says hope to be a part of Shark Tank. Mike Cook says peaches, everybody. That's gonna be a thing from now on, isn't it? Seagull rare, not quite, but close enough. Shark tank, shark tank. This is fun. Um, September 14th, I'm going to compete in the biggest competition of my life. I'm going to go in there with a fresh palate, a fresh nose, and a brand new opportunity. And I'm going to go in there, I'm going to win. I'm going to win so hard that everybody involved will go, wow, that was aggressive. But he won so, so hard. And I'll say, sorry about the aggressiveness, but it had to happen. So I expect every single one of you to be there with me. I'm going to send you a link to the, I don't know what's going to happen. Like They're going to send me more information. I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. It's going to be a fun time. There's going to be a bourbon skirmish. There's going to be tasting notes and guessing this and detailing that. And I'm going to nail it out of the park like Barry Bonds on every single steroid he thought about plus seven keep your head in the clouds put your mind on that have a good night everybody cheers everyone dango 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 smeagol rare have a good night have a fantastic weekend and on tuesday my video for top five whiskeys you need as the Bourbon Junkies challenge me to do Tuesday, 11.30 a.m. It'll be out. As soon as I find the stop stream button, we'll stop streaming, and we're done here. Whiskey Tube will never be no, behind me. Never.